Hey everybody, my name is Jared Gwines. So what we have here today is the brand new 2020 Nerf X Halo MA40 Blaster. I saw this first earlier in the year at the New York Toy Fair and I put the first video of you on YouTube about this blaster, but here we are, the retail version. It just came out. This retails for $49.99. It's available online. I got this one myself from Amazon, but it's on Best Buy, GameStop, etc. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. Included in the box is the MA40 Blaster, a release tab, a 10 round proprietary uh, magazine clip, a ammo counter sort of faux device, 10 exclusively covered Nerf Elite darts. This is the first time we've seen green and white like this. And this is really interesting is they're including a Halo Infinite game add-on. So you get a digital benefit if you own Halo Infinite the game. Uh, by buying this blaster, you get something that you get to bring into your Xbox, which is kind of neat, plus the instructions. So this is an electric blaster. It takes four C batteries. I like to use Duracell, but you can use whatever you want. The blaster batteries go right here in the front. There are three Phillips head screws that you need to take off to insert the batteries. The batteries are not included, so you have to uh, buy those separately. And for a $50 blaster, um, you know, we're adding to the cost here to actually get this thing up and running. Uh, plus you'll need to recharge the batteries if you have rechargeables or change them out to keep up with peak performance. But we're gonna put them in just like this. This is also gonna add a lot of weight to the blaster. And then you got them inserted. Nice and easy. Okay, so let's do an external overview of the MA40. So looking at this, this is a cool looking blaster. And if you're a fan of the game and you've been Master Chief and you've been playing uh, Halo, you're gonna like the look of this toy because it's definitely um, weird looking, sci-fi looking. Um, it looks much better than other Halo blasters we've seen in the past in my opinion. Um, and it's got that aesthetic and it also is a completely atypical nerf design from what we've been seeing in many recent years. Um, you've got the black and the green and the white uh, with the orange. Now on the other side, you know, uh, nerf a lot of times won't paint the other side, but here we're seeing um, that you're getting uh, the green and the white and the black details on both sides. So uh, I don't think there's any like glaring omissions in terms of, uh, you know, de deco from the other side. Now I will say that this little tab here, it doesn't do anything. And this is uh, flimsy. This is gonna end up breaking. So it's just there for aesthetics. It's a part of the look of the blaster, but it's non-functional. You don't pull it, it doesn't charge back or do anything. Neither do these switches. So a lot of this stuff on here is just kind of uh, on here. Uh, on top, we have this tack rail where you get this piece that comes with it. This is the faux ammo counter, but I wanna point out the ammo counter itself also comes off. So you have a tack rail here, and then it wants you to put uh, this on top and then this on top of that. So you could, if you wanted to, do this in a couple of different configurations, but this is sort of how they intend to do it uh, out of the box for it to, to look like this. This is non-electric, it's non-functional, doesn't connect to the blaster uh, in any way. Um, the charge trigger is right here, so you're gonna rev this to shoot, and you wanna have as high RPM as possible. This is semi-auto, which means it's gonna fire one dart each time you pull the trigger. As for the grip, um, I'm a 36 year old man, about to be 37 in February. So you put your hand here and you can see my hand uh, does fit on here. It's a little bit small for me. It'll be perfect for a little bit smaller hand, but even an adult, I can get my grip uh, around this. Don't have much room here in the thumb hole, um, but you know, you can grab it fine. Having the weight up here is way better than when it's empty. So it does feel like a nice balance blaster. You know, when you have it on you and you're holding it, uh, you do feel like this is about the right size. So I do like that. Um, now, the most interesting feature of this is gonna be the magazine placement. So this is a bullpup blaster. So the magazine is behind uh, back here. I should say the clip, the clip is what I'm supposed to say. It's what it says on the box. So you have a clip release on this side or on this side. So when you press it, um, it's gonna fall out. Now, this is a specific halo uh, clip that comes with it. And it's because of this extra design it has here. It does that so that way it's, it's purely aesthetic. So that way when you have it in the blaster, 
it matches the look of the blaster. But just to be super clear, if you have any other InStrike magazines uh, from Nerf and you want to put these in here, um, they are going to work. So if you have an 18 round, um, then that's going to work in here just fine. And you should just be able to fire that up and uh, fire darts that way, no problem. And let's see real quick. Let's see if you can even put in a 25, which I don't know if anyone's done that. So let's try. And no, you can't. So because of the design of this and this um, this bottom of the handle like this, you can't take the 25 round and get it quite in there. You'd have to cut. So 25 is not going to work. So um, same thing, we've got a 50. Um, so this is the big Titan magazine, um, highest capacity, and also it's not going to work because it can't get up in here. Now if you were to cut this or bevel this, I suppose you could if you really wanted to have you know this wacky looking capacity like this, uh, but it's not going to take either one of the drum mags, but it will take the straight mags. Um, so whether you want to use this stock 10 round or put in uh, 18s, I know a lot of Nerf guys have got a ton of these 18 round uh, clips around, whether they're the clear ones or different ones that have come out, these are going to work fine. So it is intrate compatible there. Uh, but the overall feel of it, um, yeah, you know, I think you have to be into Halo. So the jam doors right here on top, you see this little tab. You can pull it up and that's how you can clear any jams should there be any. It's not any extra onboard storage or anything like that, but that's how you can get into the back of it. Also, I'd like to point out that they want to go for sort of realistic here in the front. So we had this sort of fake flashlight. It doesn't attach to anything. And also the end of this barrel does look pretty cool, but it's not in strike um, compatible. So you're not going to have any way to put on any of your barrel attachments to any of this. Um, also, you can't uh, put on any different uh, stocks on the back of it. Pretty much you have the one InStrike tactical rail here on top and it's pretty much designed for this little uh, fake ammo counter that comes with the box. There's no safety switch on this blaster, not that there really needs to be, uh, but I do like because you have the magazine release on the left and on the right side that you could fire this uh, either way you wanted. It would be equally easy to fire if you were left-handed or right-handed. All Nerf blasters don't always come that way, but this one does, so that's good. Uh, but this little tab here, I mean, this is just for fans of the video game uh, because maybe they would complain if there wasn't a little piece there, um, but it doesn't actually do anything. But uh, let's fire it and see how it fires. Okay, we're gonna do a firing test. I've got an 18 round clip here in the back of this, so we're just gonna fire a couple out. Shooting here, maybe seven feet to the door. Now I'm gonna to try to fire as fast as possible. Remember this is semi-auto, so it's gonna fire one dart each time you pull the trigger. Decent, I guess. Halo MA40 Chrono Test. 66, 81, 69, 65, 73, all right guys, now it's time for my final thoughts. So the MA40 Blaster is, you know, Halo and Nerf's effort to bring um, the video game world into the physical world in the form of this toy. And we've seen Nerf do this before with Overwatch, we've seen them do it with Fortnite, and now we have this new foray into Halo so they can reach yet another different um, subset of potential customers. As for hardcore Nerf fans themselves, um, I don't know how much mega appeal this is going to have, um, if only because it can accept any drum clips of any kind and it only comes with 10 darts, it only has the stock 10 round clip with it, um, it's not full auto and it costs $50. Um, and to be clear, there's a lot of other really good blasters out there if you want to spend $50 on a toy that can be very powerful and have a lot more um, you know, leniency here. Uh, now, I'm not going to deny that the blaster does look cool. This is a futuristic, different looking uh, kind of Nerf blaster. And it's cool to have a bullpup again. I do like having uh, the clip here on the back. It does feel great. I like the size. I like the trigger placement. I like the handle. I like how it butts up against my shoulder and fits under my hand. I mean, this feels good to hold. And it looks cool too. Um, in terms of the stock performance, it's kind of weak. Um, and, you know, we were getting high 60s. We got a couple of fluke 80s there on the on the chronograph, but let's just call it high 60s, low 70s on the chrono. So this is going to hit 68 to 72 FPS on fresh C batteries. And, uh, you know, that's just basic 
toy performance. And again, there's a market for that. I'm not gonna dismiss that there are children out there that you know 70 FPS is right where they need to be. The trigger pull's easy. Uh, most kids will be able to pick this up and shoot it and play with it and have a good time. But at $50, I just question personally um, if this is as much value as other blasters from Nerf um, or even some other manufacturers that are in uh, the approximate same price class. So I really think when you're talking about the MA40 and really the Halo line in general, who's it made for? Who's it aimed at? And it's not necessarily the hardcore Nerf modder, Nerf, Nerf enthusiast, um, Nerf performance guy. This is gonna be for your video game enthusiast who wants a toy or your Halo super fan, your Xbox super fan, uh, maybe your Nerf collector who wants to have all the weird uh, gimmicky different blasters that come out over the years, someone who just wants to have it all, you're gonna have to have this. So it's a good looking blaster, but it doesn't uh, shoot particularly hard. It doesn't carry a lot of particular ammo. You have to buy your own batteries for it. Uh, and overall, um, I just think it's a terrific looking blaster that doesn't really deliver all the great hits. But that doesn't mean that it's not for you. It may be for you. So do you want one of these? Let me know in a comment below. And in fact, let's just give this away. Why not? You watched the video this far, right? So let's play the, the game we always like to play. If you've subscribed to my channel, and if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button right here in the bottom uh, uh, right hand side of your screen and make sure that you like this video. Even if you don't like the blaster, you can like my effort to show you the video and leave a comment below and let me know if you want me to pick you. Um, so, hey, I could save you $50 if I mail this to you. And just to be clear, I can pick a winner anywhere in the world. So I don't care if you're in India or in uh, you know New Zealand, uh, let me know in a comment below. And also let me know too, what do you think about the MA40? And what do you think about Nerf and Halo in general? Is that for you? Are you getting fired up about it? Or are you not too hot about it? Let me know in the comment below. I appreciate you guys subscribing. Thank you guys so much for staying with me, hanging out with me. I've got a lot more reviews, dozens and dozens more reviews to come right here to your, new, your YouTube newsfeed. So keep it locked in. You're in the right place. And remember, always be epic.